Good evening, and welcome all to Scotch and Smoke Rings episode, uh, I, I always forget, 649. Uh, good to have you on the program today. Today is a special episode because we are taking a break from Absalom of the End of Gods to celebrate the release of Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Uh, we played Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 during my live stream on uh, Among the Sleep, Amongst, Amongst the Sleep, Among the Sleep. Anyway, we did Among the, S the Sleep for Scotch and Smoke Rings last October. And uh, then we, after we finished that game, because it was a really short game, after we finished that game, we played Poppy Playtime, which was really short. It was like 40 minutes, and we completed it because it was only chapter one. So if you missed part one of Pla Poppy Playtime, it's inside my Among the Sleep live stream, which I have placed inside the Poppy Playtime playlist. But for today, we are going to pick up with chapter two of Poppy Playtime because the developers have just released today the update. And from everything I've read, it's significantly longer and much scarier. And Poppy Playtime itself was scary. So this should be fun. Now, for those who are here to watch Absalov, never fear. We'll pick up with Absalov as soon as we finish Poppy Playtime. Um, the way I, I typically like to cover new games that I'm interested in when they're available. So this is a brand new game. We're going to cover it today. If you're just here for the gameplay... Um, and you're watching the video on demand. The way Scotch and Smoke Rings works is I do about a, an hour-long Q&A at the beginning of the program. And after the Q&A, I dive into the game. So if you're watching the video on demand, skip forward about an hour and you can uh, get right to the gameplay. But for now, it's Scotch and Smoke Rings time. You've got questions. I'll do my best to come with some answers. Let's make sure we have all of the chats up today. We've got Facebook chat up. Good to see Luke and Quincy and Joel and Toby. And it's wonderful to see everybody on YouTube today. All of the patrons and the members and the subscribers. Jocelyn Ryan Fishkey, Craig Euler, Vince M with a gold derby, Automatic Beats with a gold derby, Rachel with a gold derby, Shadow787, Fanboy AR, Edward Chapman, Craig Euler, Shadow787, Alt Grendel with a gold derby. Lane Berry, Edward with the Gold Derby, Edward J, Rebel She-Wolf, Wayne Azing, and Wormy with the first super chat of the day. Now to relax and unwind with my favorite lore master. Thank you, Wormy. I hope you can unwind with the scary game we're playing today. Moody Exorcist says, I have a Gold Derby now. Holy crap. Congratulations, Moody Exorcist. Thanks for sticking with me all of these months and years to have earned your gold derby. That's awesome. Jonathan Perdicaris, a bronze ox and a member for two months, says, So that doll tells me this is a scary game. Are you talking about the thumbnail? Yeah, yeah. Poppy Playtime is not a children's game. I was uh, reading up on uh, part two a little bit. I don't know anything about the plot, but just to make sure that it would work. And uh, uh, apparently, when the first chapter was released... There were some children and parents who thought it was a kid's game. And that led to some traumatized children. So the developers released a statement before they released part two saying this is not a children's game. This is, in fact, a very scary adult game. And that is what this is. So never fear. You have everything to fear. Uh, Philippe Schmidt became or with with a. Uh, with a gold derby and a silver ox and a member for 42 months gives us a smoky heart. Thank you for the smoky heart, Philippe. And No Name says, finally Thursday. I know. I've been looking forward to Thursday all week. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. DL Stone in the Facebook chat with uh, donations of stars. Thank you very much, DL Stone. Matthew Ryan with a donation of stars on Facebook says, Hey, Ox, the oldest computer was owned by Adam and Eve. It was an Apple with a very limited memory. Just one bite and everything crashed. Oh, and with that dad joke of the day, let's uh, start with some scotch. I've got some 12-year-old Glenfiddich. We finished off our Caribbean blend. 
uh, which I really enjoyed. I'll probably get another bottle, but we're trying this. Good old standby. Cheers. And we've got our rum and coke. Cheers. Ah. Alt Grendel with a super chat on YouTube says, How many vampires does it take to change a light bulb? None. They prefer the dark. Obviously. Like, oh my gosh, that's that joke. It's just so good. It tells itself. Jonathan Perdicaris with a super chat says, Are you going to play God of War Ragnarok? I saw a trailer and it looks great. Absolutely. I mean... I've been enjoying God of War so much that I know that Ragnarok is just going to be amazing. So, of course, I'm going to play it when it comes out and when it's available on the PC. That's that's the kicker right there. Changed One became a Bronze Ox. Thank you very much, Changed One. And No Name with the Super Chat says, Scientists have recently discovered a food that greatly reduces sex drive. Wait for it. It's called a wedding cake. Oh! Oh! But I'm... Shh. Oh, No Name. That's, uh, that's like boomer humor right there. That. <laughs> oh, thank you for that one, No Name. Cannabis Year says, I hope you have yourself a good night tonight. Thank you very much, Cannabis Year. I hope so, too. Looking forward to it. Been looking forward to this all week. Toby Noble on Facebook says, Anybody else looking forward to Lightyear? Special look trailer came out today. I remember watching Toy Story 1 in 1995. Yeah, you know, I, uh, I've, I've always liked Toy Story. I never, like, was a huge fan of Toy Story, but I enjoy... Uh, Pixar, and uh, I'm interested to learn Buzz Lightyear's backstory, Buzz Lightyear's origin story, because that's what this is, right? Lightyear, the Buzz Lightyear story. I love it. So I can't wait to watch that. DL Stone with a very generous donation of stars. Thank you, my friend. He says, apologies, meant to send you 500 st stars. Ha ha, clicked the wrong button. Got officially caught up with your broken steel lore today. Man, Night Shin diving selfishly onto the mine or selflessly onto the mine wasn't what I expected. And I was surprised by it. That was a powerful episode. Thank you, DL Stone. That's one of the good things they did with Steel Rain is they added more... Um, more context, more color, more facets to the characters in Steel Dawn and Steel Rain. In Steel Dawn, it's like they wanted you to hate Shin. Just he wasn't pleasant. He was obnoxious wherever you you went. He was too hardline, and he felt one dimensional. In Steel Rain, we get he, we realize that he's a human being. He sh he becomes a little bit more vulnerable. He shares. Uh, some of his insecurities with us. And he proves himself to be completely selfless in the face of danger when it comes to the Brotherhood of Steel. Like, he, it's, it's, he's, he does not the way he is because of his own ego. He's the way he is because he truly, genuinely believes in the Brotherhood and what they stand for, even to the point of sacrificing himself for those in his care, right? Makes him a much more interesting character. Now, what they did to Paladin Romani in the last episode, I don't know if that really fit her character. I understand why they did it, because they, B Paladin Romani came off p appearing a bit too pristine at the end of Steel Dawn, like she was all about the people of Appalachia, and she was going to sever the chain that binds with the West Coast and all of that. Um... And they didn't really give us a reason to want to move towards Shin, to want to gravitate towards Shin when they made Paladin Romani so quote-unquote noble. So they made her a little bit more paranoid and a little bit more unrealistic, well, a little bit more um, unreasonable. More realistic, I suppose, but a little bit more unreasonable um, after the last episode, which, you know, they needed to do to make her more human more human. So, yeah, they definitely did some great character development in the, la in the last couple of episodes. Matthew Ryan with a donation of stars says, went to a very emotional wedding this past weekend. Even the cake was in tears. Oh, just good. Just good. We'll just give that one a good. Thank you, Matthew. The cake was in tears. Oh, Jake Benz. <laughs> 
With a donation of stars, says good day, Ox, and all in chat. Hey there, Jake. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, cigar is out of fire. Cannabisure says, hope you have yourself a good night tonight. Thank you, Cannabisure. Gontro Dem, a bronze ox and a member for 15 months, says, look forward to seeing what will be uh, the new game Monday. Yeah, I look forward to figuring that out too. I'll be, I'm just a surprise. Like I, I, I have no idea what I'm going to pick. So I think you and I will be equally surprised on Monday when we figure out exactly what I'll be playing then. Same for Wednesday. We, we finished Assassin's Creed as far as I want to take it for now. So I need to pick a new game for Wednesday too. Wayne Azing says, Aloha, Oxhorn. It's my birthday today, and I would like to give thanks to you and this wonderful community for all of the awesome streams and videos. Keep up the lore videos and the live streams. Hardcore! Hardcore to the mega! Thank you, Wayne Azing. Happy birthday to you, and uh, I'm glad you decided to stop on by and join us for your birthday so we can all wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday to Wayne Azing. No Name with a Gold Derby says, Where's that stupid baby? Stupid baby? What are you talking about? Babies aren't stupid. No name, you can't say that about a baby. What kind of person are you? Babies are great. They're cuddly and cute. They're the future of our entire generation. Uh, no name says, why are so many blonde jokes one-liners? So brunettes can remember them. Oh, oh, eh, oh, okay, I see. So there's a blonde who grew up with too many blonde jokes and decided to turn the tables there. Thank you, no name. Whatever tube on YouTube says, you know what's crazy? Nobody has said Enclave in Space, play on, sir. Mia, <laughs> Fallout TV, where are we at? Wow. Just a whole bunch of typical Whatever Tube catchphrases there. Thank you for that one, Whatever Tube. Enclave in Space, ha 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 Fallout TV, where are we at? Toxic Sean, uh, a Silver Ox in November for 18 months. Says, Oxhorn, you gem. I have been enjoying watching your Detroit Become Human streams. The wife loves the game. Great to see you analyze the choices. I'm, 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 hope you're having a great, I'm glad you're having a great time watching it. I had a great time playing it. Wish I had made different decisions in my gameplay than I did. I, ha I walked away from that game with a few regrets, but I won't go into them right now. You'll get there. <laughs> You'll get there. Jocelyn Ryan says, I'm writing a book about all of the things I should be doing in my life. And it's ought. Okay, hold on. I got to, I got to say this again. I, I, I didn't get it at first. I get it now. She says, I'm writing a book about all of the things I should be doing in my life. It's an ought to biography. Cheers, Ox, she says. Oh, Jocelyn. An ought to biography. All of the things you ought, you should be doing in your life. Oh, Good. Thank you, Jocelyn. Cheers. Rachel says, what's your plan after completion of the Steel Dawn lore vids? More lore vids. Which ones? I don't know. Could be Fallout 4, the full story of Fallout 4. I haven't done that yet. I need to. Could be random locations in Fallout 76. There are a lot of them and lots of side quests in Fallout 76 that I have yet to tackle. Could be that. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. Toxic Sean says, as the last message was free, here's some love. Cheers, bud. Enjoy the stream today, and we'll watch after work tonight. Miss you, buddy. Hi slash bye, chat. Hi slash bye, Toxic uh, Sean. Have a great day at work. I'm glad you stopped by, and I hope you enjoyed the replay. Ranker1138 says, let's test your history knowledge. What event does Cinco de Mayo actually celebrate? Oh, God, why are you doing this to me? Giving me a quiz? Is today Cinco de Mayo? No, it's not. Oh, wait, yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 it is. It's Cinco de Mayo today. <clears throat> uh, it celebrates the independence of Mexico from Spain. And I'm going to stick with that from Spain. Hmm. 
Max Doolin says, Cheers, Oxhorn. One shot of kettle, one vodka for you. Happy scotch and smoke rings. Love your channel so much. Thank you, Max Doolin. One shot of kettle. One of, one of vodka? What's a kettle? Is that a type of booze? I'm assuming a booze, a shot of kettle. I'm thinking kettle corn. Mixing popcorn and vodka. Kettle and vodka. I, I just... I need to be educated on mixed drinks. No Name says, What happens to an illegally parked frog? It gets, it gets towed away. It gets towed. The frog gets... So good. Thank you, No Name, for that contribution. Mm, just these jokes get better and better. Loving it. Garrett McFadden on Facebook with a donation of stars says, Hi, Ox, and all in chat. Ox, in Fallout 4, the swan behemoth that you can fight, is there a lore story behind that monster? Uh, Kettle One Vodka, says chat. Oh, it's a brand of vodka? Okay, Kettle One Vodka. I see. Um, no, the only lore behind it is, I mean, actually, yeah, watch my video on swan. So it turns out, well, do, do I spoil it? Okay, so the lore behind swan is that he used to be a janitor for the Institute, but he got doused in FEV. Actually, he got experimented on. Like, he, he was one of the humans that the Institute kidnapped and took and experimented on in the FEV lab in the Institute. And then when he turned into a super mutant and was a failed experiment, instead of killing him, they released him. But he must have been one of the original FEV experiments because he did become a super mutant behemoth. And as we know from the events of Fallout 3, super mutant behemoths are super mutants that are just really, really old. They absorbed a, you know, a lot of radiation or something. I don't know. So he must have been one of the Institute's original experiments, and that's why he's already a legend in downtown Boston. But yeah, I covered it all in my lore video on Swan. Uh, Randy Herring on Facebook with the donation of stars says, Hey, if I gave you a beastly fixer, would you use it, lol? A beastly fixer? If you gave me a beastly fixer? <sighs> you know, I, I never thought, I never thought I would be old. I mean, I knew I, I knew I would get old, right? But when I was young, I was I was hip with the lingo, you know, I, with, with what the kids were speaking. Like I listened to Matchbox 20 and all that cool stuff. <clears throat> but beastly fixer, what 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 is a beastly fixer? Is a fixer like a union fixer? Like the union sends a fixer to fix things? Like a, I'm assuming it's a drink. You want me to drink a beastly fixer? I mean, I'll, I'll try most things. Jake Ben says, I hurt my foot driving the other day. You know who I called? The tow company. Thank you, Jake. Melanie Mills with a donation of stars says, I love your commentaries. Thank you, Melanie. And Matthew Ryan says, Jake, I thought we talked about you not putting your foot down so hard. Oh, oh Matthew's trying to stir up a beef with Jake in the chat. I love it. Jocelyn Ryan says, Mexican Independence Day is September 16th. So not quite ox. I was wrong. Okay. Well, then what is it? I don't know. I'll have to look this up later. Oh, that's embarrassing. <clears throat> um, Anthony Molina says, it's been a bit since I've caught you live, but you look like you've lost weight. You look great. Thank you, Anthony. I have lost a little bit of weight and I'm continuing to lose. It's a process and I'm not quite where I want to be yet, but I'm on the right path. Max Doolin says, Kettle One Vodka is a brand ox. Another shot. All right, another shot. Cheers. Max Doolin. Ogmund Fireweave. Uh, with a super chat says, Hey Ox, what do you think of the Kazaklaw mod for New Vegas? If you don't know, the mod fuses a Kazador with a Deathclaw. Why? Why would someone do this? Why would someone take the worst things in Fallout New Vegas and make them even worser? The Kazadors are already awful. A Kazaklaw? Why would someone do that? 
And who would install that mod? You must teach yourself if you want to stumble upon Kazaklaws in the Mojave Wasteland. Yikes. Ranker says it commemorates the victory of Mexico over France at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. France, Spain, I mean, they share a continent. P-Town24 says, hello, Ox, it's me again. I noticed you don't have a lore video on the Drumlin Diner. Uh, that's true. I don't. Uh, I mean, the, the problem is that I... I, I can't do a lore video on the Drumlin Diner. I can't do a proper one because the Drumlin Diner is a brand. It's a franchise. It's a, it's a chain of diners. And so what I would want to do is tell the pre-war history of the Drumlin Diners and, or the Dots Diners from Fallout 3. But we don't have any of that information. So instead, I would be telling the story of what, ha what happens post-war at that particular Drumlin Diner. And then it's basically just the story of Trash Can Carla, right? It's the story of a bunch of... Well, were there raiders or mercenaries doing that to trash can Carla? So, yeah, it's kind of like a random encounter, but not really. It's a scripted fixed encounter that just so happens to take place at the Drumlin Diner. Whatever Tube says, Ox, how come we only got a few mutant giants? Lots of mutants, but they don't all get giant. Also, play on good, sir. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know if they explicitly said this in Fallout lore, but it's definitely something that that has stuck around with the fan base, that behemoths are just really old super mutants. So presumably we don't see a lot of behemoths because super mutants die a lot, right? Raiders are killing them, mercenaries are killing them, vault dwellers are killing them. Like, they're constantly fighting every day. So the lifespan of a mutant is probably pretty short. So the ones that last a long time grow and become behemoths. Now, naturally, not all of them do because we know of some super mutants like Erickson and Marcus, for example, that have been around for a very long time, but have not become behemoths. So perhaps there's more to it than just age. Perhaps it also has to do with uh, how much FEV they soaked up. Like the mechanics haven't been explained to us, to be perfectly honest. I'd love to know more. Man of Warp says, did you know that a frog has more lives than a cat? A cat has nine lives, but a frog croaks every night. Oh, loving it. Thank you, Men of Warb. And then Adrian Parker says, Hey, Ox. Um, hope your day has gone well. Can't wait for the game tonight. What are you drinking slash smoking for the program? Looking good, Ox. Thank you, Adrian Parker. I'm smoking a Brickhouse cigar. I'm enjoying a good brick house today. I've got my Glen Fittick 10-year uh, aged scotch. And some Kraken rum with Coke. PC Gaming Goodies says, You go to heaven and God says hello. You go to the other place and the devil says, Heaven oh. Really? Hello? Have an O? Oh. I mean, I haven't heard it before, so okay. But, ugh. Thank you, PC Gaming Goodies. And then Wormy in the chat today says, A My Little Pony dad joke for the Ryans. How do unicorns signal impatience with slow ponies in front of them? They honk their horns. Oh. Well, I do like a good honk, I have to say. And I do like to honk horns. Um, and you know what? My mind is wandering right now. I'm unable to focus adequately on what I'm supposed to say. So I'm just going to continue rambling and hoping that the words that come out of this mouth make some sort of semblance of sense. And, uh, looks like that's not going to change anytime soon because <laughs> where's my cigar? There it is. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying, the, I'm enjoying the sights and sounds of the broadcast and the cigar is definitely helping. Well, I'm already having a wonderful night. I hope you all are too. Okay. Uh, no Name says the nurse who was chewed out by the doctor 
What? No, no, says the nurse who was chewed out by the doctor. Why was the nurse chewed out by the doctor is I'm assuming how it's supposed to start. Because she was absent without gauze. Why was the nurse chewed out by the doctor? She was absent without gauze. Great. Another great one. Jake Benz with a donation of stars on Facebook says, What do dinosaurs use to pay bills? Tyrannosaurus checks. How is it that this program has been going on for over a decade and you're still coming up with new dad jokes that I've never heard before? This is just, I don't understand it. It's phenomenal. Thank you all. The Watcher says, hello, good sir. Here's a joke for you. What do clouds wear? Thunderwear. <sighs> hmm. Thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening. Rachel says, would you do a lore video about Cazadors and Centaurs? I've never played New Vegas, but I've seen all of your videos and still don't really know what they are. Uh, well, the Cazadors were in New Vegas. They weren't in Fallout 3, but the Centaurs were in Fallout, Fallout 1, Fallout 2, and Fallout 3. Uh, were they? Yeah, they were. Um, uh, they weren't in Fallout 4. And they were in Fallout New Vegas, but slightly. Like, there were only a few places where we found them in Fallout New Vegas. But essentially, we're given to believe that centaurs were amalgams of different creatures, including human, that happened to stumble into the Master's vaults, and they came out sort of glued together, is essentially what they are. Uh, we we kind of got that from um, Harold's conversation when we met him at the hub during the events of Fallout 1. He talked a little bit about describing some of the creatures that were coming out of the vault that he and Richard Gray went into to investigate. Like the entire reason Harold became Harold and Richard Gray became the master is because they saw the centaurs wandering around the wasteland and they tried to figure out where these guys were coming from. And during this conversation, Harold describes what a centaur looks like and describes how they had come from um, the vaults at Mariposa, right? So uh, as for how centaurs got to the East Coast, I guess we can only assume that the mutants inside the vault, when they couldn't find wastelanders and raiders to turn into super mutants probably experimented by throwing wolves and you know dogs and creatures into the vat to see what would come out that might explain why the centaurs were there the centaurs in new vegas can be explained um as remnants of the centaurs that were wandering around the wasteland during the times of fallout 1 and fallout 2 and uh, the lack of centaurs in fallout 4 can be explained by the fact that it was the institute who created the super mutants in uh, the Commonwealth, and they didn't experiment on FEV with other creatures aside from human. So there would have never been a situation where they were just throwing organic material into a vat to see what happened. Hence, no centaurs. So yeah, I should probably do a lore video on that. That would that would be pretty fun. As for Casadors, I have no explanation. They're just in New Vegas, and I hope they stay in New Vegas because they are terrifying. Man of Warb says, which game will you play on Mondays? I haven't decided yet. Lots of options, and I'm currently weighing them all with um, due attention. Jocelyn Ryan says, okay, who's using their My Little Oxy doll like a voodoo doll? We really need Ox's attention to be back to 100% before the game. I'm back. I'm back. I got distracted momentarily, but I am here in front of the camera, and I'm completely yours for the next three hours, all right? DS says, mutants eat a lot of people and things in general. Maybe they ate enough FEV infected things? Marcus didn't seem like he got down like that. He farmed. That's true. Marcus and Erickson had very different diets. Maybe it has something to do with uh, super mutants eating humans. Maybe it's maybe there's some sort of somewhat cannibalistic thing going on there.
Matthew Ryan on Facebook with a donation of stars says, Ox, what are your thoughts on cable management? Stepson claims he doesn't need it, lol. Me, I'm one who wants it fairly straight and not much of a chance to get tangled up. So I, I have a love-hate relationship with cable management. On one hand, I love the visual aesthetic of a nicely organized computer system with cables all in the right order and everything stowed away and invisible. And that's what I tried to do when I set up my system. But from a practical perspective, it didn't last long because I found myself swapping out parts on my computer and, you know, moving boxes around and unplugging this and plugging that in so that if I had everything stowed away and neatly organized, I had to work really hard to tear everything up just so I could swap in this plug and swap out that plug. So it's easier for me just to leave my cables laying around here, uh, laying, laying around here so that I can um, add things and take things away more easily in the future. Randy Herring with a donation of stars. Thank you, Randy. Jake Benz says, I have ancient secrets since the Warcraft days, Ox. Lol. Ancient secrets are fun. Warcraft secrets are fun. Matthew Ryan with a donation of stars says, Cazadors were created in the Big Mountain, if I remember correctly. Were they really? Were they one of the uh, the Big Mountain experiments? I, I believe it. I believe that Cazadors are one of the awful creatures that the scientists at Big Mountain would have created. We'll just go with that. I think you're probably right. I think I remember reading that somewhere. No name says that explains my ex. A vat of FEV. Ooh. Are you comparing your ex to a centaur? Ooh, she fell into a vat of FEV. Ouch. Painful. Uh, Carolina Nava says, great jokes, period. <laughs> I don't know if you're being honest or sarcastic. Because <laughs> if you liked them, you'd be like, great jokes, smiley face, exclamation point. But now she's like, great jokes. Full stop. All right. Thank you, Carolina Nava. Durag says, hey, Ox, how you doing? Hey, Durag, good to see you again. Uh, I'm doing really well. Hope you are as well. Freddie Simmons says, Cazadors are from Big Mountain. Remember, Dr. Boris experimented on the tarantula hawk. Oh my God, it's all coming back. Yeah, it was Dr. Boris. I don't remember the tarantula hawk, really? Hmm. Well, maybe I should do a video on it just so I can refresh my own memory. Amy Germain says, Dr. Zimmer from Fallout 3 and the vault Tech salesman have the same voice actor. Coincidence or institute conspiracy? Great question, but you know what? The narrator for Fallout 1, 2, 3, 4, and 76 has the same voice as the newscaster from Fallout 4. Coincidence or are they the same person? I don't know. When it comes to voice actors, I don't know if we can read too much into it because after all, the voice actor for Joshua Graham is the same as the voice actor for Dr. What's his name? Blackburn. In Steel Rain. It's the same it's the same voice voice actor. So but clearly those two characters in the Fallout universe are separated by, you know, dozens and dozens of years. Uh so I think it's just a quirk of video game. It doesn't necessarily have anything significant to it. Crystal Sharp on Facebook says, Hey Ox, so glad I caught a live stream. Which place, story, or character in the Fallout universe is your favorite? Much love, my friend. Thank you, Crystal Sharp. It's so good to see you. Um, I think one of my favorite stories, and you, those who've watched the program for a while probably know this, but one of my favorite stories is that of the survivalist from Fallout New Vegas' uh, Honest Hearts DLC. The DLC itself was so-so, but The Survivalist was one of the most brutally crafted and real characters created, even though we never get to meet him. 
We never get to meet him. He's a really great character, one of my favorite but saddest stories. Rachel says, I vote for a Fallout Creature lore series. That would be fun. I'd love to put together a lore series on the creatures. Whatever Tube says, uh, that stocky parable show got me cracking up like crazy. The Enclave loved it, and they play say, play on, sir. But seriously, I was laughing so much at the narrator during that show. Oh my God, lol, play on, man. Stanley Parable, not stock, Stocky Parable. Right, the Stanley Parable. We played that last week instead of uh, Assassin's Creed, and uh, it was hilarious. What a great game that was. I, I think I've got my fix. I've got my Stanley Parable fix. It's answered all my questions. I don't need any more, but it was great. Brilliant little game. Michael Yang says, How different would Fallout be if it was set in a fictional universe instead of diverging from ours? Uh, it would be very different. It... One of the reasons that that writers will create universes that are semi-appended to our own universe is because it allows them to make them realistic, to put them in an established real world without having to invent absolutely everything. So they don't have to pull a Tolkien, right? Tolkien invented absolutely everything. They don't have to pull an, a James Cameron avatar, right? Where they're inventing languages and musics and all of this stuff. If the development time that would go into a game where it's fiction, but it's set in its own universe, I think if they wanted to do it justice and get the lore right, would just be monumentally more complicated, which is why even Mass Effect is set in an alternate timeline to our own universe, as is Fallout 4, uh, the Fallout franchise. Brian Shafet says, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing great. So good to see you, Brian. Hope you're feeling well. Steel 101 says, where did Noah keep his bees? In the archives. Arc hives. It works. Thank you for that one. Matthew Ryan with a donation of stars says, uh, Jessica McDonald has a good question for you. Should be a few spots above this. Let me see if I can find it. There we go. Uh, she says, my cousin is thinking about building her own PC sooner or later for gaming. She'll be in the attic while she builds it. Do you have any tips on building a PC for gaming? Um, the, th the cool thing about building a PC is that if you are good at Legos, you can build a PC. It's, the principle is essentially the same. It's not that complicated at all. Even the most complicated thing, which is putting... Uh, paste on your CPU is not that complicated. Just a little, you know, dab of it and you're good to go. So thermal paste on your CPU. So yeah, it's just plugging things into slots, making sure you follow the directions and you plug in all the wires correctly. Um, I suggest uh, if she's building a PC, go to the, the PC Master Race subreddit on Reddit. They've got a number of different builds that they've all tested that are within certain budgets. She can get all, get all of the pieces she needs to build an epic computer. And then it's just putting the, the right card in the right slot on the motherboard. And it's not that hard, really. Ryder Wheeler says, Evening Ox got a new job today and celebrating with destruction and fallout. And a nice whiskey and Coke. I was going to have the drink tonight anyways. <laughs> well, uh, any night's a celebration when it's whiskey and Coke. That's great. Congratulations, uh, Ryder Wheeler, on your new job. I hope you love it. Voice of the Minutemen says, Have you heard about the Crustacean Criminal Gang? They were a bunch of lobsters. Instead of mobsters, the Crustacean Criminal Gang was a gang of lobsters. Just... Just so good. Thank you, the voice of the Minutemen. I love it. B mobsters resembles lobsters. It's good. M M Dude from Montana says, Night Stalkers and Cazadors I thought were sterile and contained in Big Mountain. I didn't read it, but some guy on YouTube did some great lore videos about it. I mean, the brains definitely thought they were contained within Big Mountain, but clearly they weren't. And I remember reading how they got out but I don't recall what it was. It's been a long time since I've done my lore series on Big Mountain. Uh, so, yeah, I'll have to look into it. Freddie Simmons says, yep, Joshua Graham and Dr. Blackburn. And also the same voice actor, Harbor Harbringer, Keith 
Sarzabaka. I'm, I totally butchered that. I'm so sorry. He also had a small part in The Dark Knight. He was the cop left alone in the interrogation chamber with the Joker. Really? He also was in L.A. Noir. He played our fourth and final partner in L.A. Noir. What was his name? Sir with an H, wasn't it? It was my favorite one. Arson. Arson Squad. All right, we got about 20 more minutes until we dive into Poppy Playland Part 2. Deuteronomus with a gold derby says, Cazadors were thought to be sterile by the scientists, but not Night Stalkers. Interesting. I mean, the scientists could have been wrong. Like, they could have thought that the Cazadors were sterile, but they ended up not being. I mean, that's really the only way they could have wandered into the Mojave Wasteland. Sarah says, rest in peace, fake baby with the not glowing eyes. Sarah, I, th I threw away the baby doll. It's, it's been a year now, hasn't it? It's been a very long time. So I don't know where this is coming from, why you're saying rest in peace now, but it's just a doll. It didn't actually die, but it is actually gone and hasn't been here for quite some time. Sarah says, what's your favorite character from Watchmen? Rorschach. I mean, it's got to be Rorschach. Is there any character better than Rorschach? I mean, that scene in the, in the jail. You all think I'm trapped in here with you, but you don't realize you're actually trapped in here with me. I mean, that's, that's a great scene. He's a great character. Rorschach for the win. Herschel Biggs. Thank you, Pete Town 24. Yes, Herschel Biggs, Arson Squad, L.A. Noir. They did him dirty, though, Rorschach. He did not have the end I wanted him to have. Brannock says, Hey, Ox, how you been? I'm finishing a final paper, and I'll be graduating Saturday with a game design degree. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a game you'll play. Who knows, indeed? I mean, I would love it if you did. That would be awesome. Uh, but uh, congratulations on uh, graduating on Saturday. I hope it all goes well for you. Grievous Reborn says, will you be doing Starfield lore videos? I mean, I'm not going to make any promises, but I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. I mean, it depends on how good the game is. People wanted me to do Outer Worlds lore videos, and I was tempted to, but then we got the game, and it just wasn't the kind of game that you would make lore videos for. And I made a few. I made like five lore videos for the Outer Worlds. They didn't do too well. They were okay. It was mainly just going over some of the quests. It's not the kind of game where you really needed to explain the lore of a location or a pre-war business or all of that where you could piece everything together. It wasn't that kind of game. Now, Starfield, I'm sure will be. And I'm looking forward to playing it and wrapping my head around it. Rachel says, any new stories from Dark Souls Adventures? No, I haven't played since we last talked. Uh, I'm still stuck at Sheba the Wolf. It's, it is called Sheba the Wolf, right? It's a wolf that wields a sword in its mouth. What the heck, Dark Souls? Come on. What am I supposed to do? It's got a cr crazy range. Y you get halfway to him and he leaps at you from across the field and slashes at you in half with a sword that he's wielding in his mouth as a wolf. It's my absolute nightmare and I don't want to do it. I just <laughs> don't want to do it. I don't want to fight him. I think I'm done. Now, I'm not going to give up. I will eventually get back into Dark Souls and try and beat Sheba the Wolf. It's always wolves that get in my way. Gontra Dim says, hey, in mentioning PC Part Picker, when are you going to update your lists? You're a year or two behind. Am I really? I mean, I haven't updated my computers in a year or two. 
not since I got my 2080 TIs. And that's probably been about a year and a half to two years ago. So, I mean, the way I see it, if it's not broke, don't fix it. I know there's plenty of more updated um, uh, graphics cards and hardware out there, but I put a lot of money and time and love into my, my streaming rig about three and a half years ago with the idea that I wouldn't have to put anything into it for a while. I made it overkill, hoping that it would last me a long time. And so far it has. It's been able to play every game I've thrown at it. I mean, we've had a few weird things, like with Half-Life Alex, but I don't know if that was my computer or the game. Either way, uh, the only th a change I made is I, I did have two 1080 Ti um, graphics cards that I did SLI, and I swapped to one 2080 Ti graphics card. And that solved a couple of the weird problems I was having with some games. And uh, I haven't really needed to make any changes. So, yeah, I guess I'll update it when I make changes to my computer. Gwendolyn says, uh, people, the creepy doll is gone. If you think you see something, it's probably the demonic form of the doll's spirit haunting Ox's streams. Yes, well, we, we all know that that could never happen in real life. Because demons aren't real and spirits aren't real. So... And even if they were, they only come from creatures that have lived and dolls have never lived. So there is no doll. There's no spirit. If you're seeing it, question your own sanity is what I would say. Happy Days says, hey, Ox, what are we drinking tonight? I've got my Kraken rum with some Coke and I've got some 10-year-old Glenn Fittick. Cheers. Ogmund Fireweave says, oh, Sif, that wolf is fun to face, but if you really want a nightmare, wait until you get to the Nameless King in Dark Souls 3. Yes, Sif, that was his name. What did I call him? Sif the Wolf. I hate him. I hate Sif the Wolf. Yeah, I'm, I don't even know about Dark Souls 3. I don't know anything about Dark Souls 2 or 3. I'm struggling with 1. I, you know, played four hours of Elden Ring, and I was good. Uh, it was a creepy Egyptian sphinx zombie that killed me. It was a cat. It was a cat egyptian cat sphinx zombie didn't like that killed me a lot the guy on the horse killed me a lot the old guy by the castle he killed me a lot i almost killed him but he still killed me a lot so i just walked around avoiding things it was four hours of me avoiding enemies in dark in in elden ring so probably won't be live streaming any souls like games anytime soon Fishkey says, great to see you, buddy. Any chance of a whole week of Starfield on release? In, I'm so excited for this game and the Xbox slash Bethesda conference next month. I mean, probably. I mean, that's what I did for Fallout 76. When Fallout 76 released, I was so excited. There was so much anticipation. I dedicated an entire week. I just did nothing but stream that game for, you know, several weeks. And then as, you know, it went on and people started to see all of the glitches and have problems with it, I just immersed myself in the story because I was still really enjoying the story. And uh, you know, my live stream still got a lot of traction and, and viewers because of that. So, yeah, when Starfield comes out, I'll probably just do a lot of mega ultimate live streams. Contro Dim says, uh, your PC part picker list still has the 1080 Ti build. Okay. All right. Thank you, Gontaro Dim. I'll update it. <laughs> Eventually, I'll put it on my list of things to update. Dude from MT says, don't trust my info. I just need to send you some money because I watch your New Vegas videos every night. You did a great job on Old World Blues, and it's my first live since gold. Well, thank you, dude from MT. I appreciate it. Old World Blues was so much fun. I, it was such a ridiculous DLC. I had a great time working on the uh, theme music to the beginning of it and putting that series together. I'm glad you guys liked it. Tristan Fleet says, oops, I logged in on Happy Days again. No worries, uh, Happy Days slash Tristan Fleet. Glad you're here. Matthew Ryan on Facebook with a donation of stars says, all right, Ox, I'm off to bed. But before I do, any props? And if I remember right, the wolf's name is Sif. Yes, yes, you're right. It is Sif. Wife also says to make the stinking wolves shirt for luck to beat that one. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe that'll get me through it. Have to make the stinking wolf shirt. I know the props. Uh, the one that I'm waiting on that I have been waiting on since 2018 is supposed to be done in Q3 of this year. Now they've pushed it back. Year after year after year, so who knows if it's actually going to be done in time this year. But hopefully, come Q3 of this year, I'll be able to show it to you. Autistic Wolf says, I love your doll gaslighting. Love the CGI eyes, by the way. It's, it's, what, CGI eyes? 
Dull gaslighting? Are you accusing me of gaslighting? Would I do that? Would I sit in front of this microphone every week for weeks on end, months now even, and pretend something is true that is not just for the sheer pleasure of confusing my audience? Am I the kind of guy who would do something like that? I'm not that kind of guy. Do I strike you as that kind of guy? I don't know. I don't get cheap thrills by, by, by lying to my audience and seeing them freak out when eyes glow and things like that. I, those kind of things don't make me happy. They just don't. I'm, I have more mundane pleasures, like a good glass of rum and, rum, rum and a Coke. Cheers. All right, we got uh, 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes, and it's time to dive into the game. I broke my hip, says, did you or are you going to cover Steel Dawn? Nice shirt, by the way. Thanks. I'm actually in the middle of covering Steel Dawn right now. I hope you're subscribed. If you have been, then you've been getting my weekly updates on all of my Steel Dawn and Steel Rain lore videos. I've already completed all of Steel Dawn, and I'm now almost halfway through Steel Rain. So make sure you subscribe because that lore series is currently in production. Wormy says, good thing you're not Pinocchio, Ox. Yeah, I mean, who would want to be a wooden puppet? <laughs> what kind of comet is that? I'm also glad that I am not a wooden puppet that's got strings on him, right? I'm glad I have not been swallowed by a whale. These are all good things that I don't have to deal with. <laughs> glad I'm not Pinocchio. <whistles> Weird bear. Weird Beard says, Ox, you've gone on an hour-long rant on if robots had nipples in the past, so I can't put anything past you. Did I do that? I wouldn't. Did I? Did I? Have I ranted about robot nipples? I don't think I have. I mean, it's a weird thing to rant about because obviously they wouldn't. Why would a robot have nipples? I mean, why do men have nipples? There is that question. I guess if men have nipples, robots can have nipples. It probably wouldn't be fair to robots for men to get them and robots not to get them. All right, I'm down with robot nipples. I'm all for equality. I mean, it's not scotch and smoke rings without a few smoke rings. Jessica, uh, Jessica McDonald says, where can I get one of your Fallout shirts? Well, I've got my own shirts on my shop. Just Google Oxhorn Teespring or Oxhorn Shirt Shop. I also link to my shirt shop in, my descrip in the description of my videos. But uh, the shirts I usually wear on my broadcast like this, these came from the loot boxes, the, um, the Fallout loot crates. I was subscribed to those for a while. I haven't gotten one in a long time. Did I stop? Did they stop them? Or did I? I don't know if I canceled them or not. Anyway, I've got a, a closet full of Fallout shirts because of the loot crates. They practically sent me one in every single crate. C. French says, yeah, but what about nipples on the bat suit? Bats have nipples. They're mammals, right? Do bats have nipples? I don't know. I've never checked. No Name says, I'm pretty sure when everyone was an embryo, we all started as female, hence the nipples. Yes, obviously that is the scientific explanation. I, we, we all have nipples because we all started as females in the, in the, in the womb. He says, though I could also be 100% wrong, I'm not a scientist. I'm not either, but I think you are actually right. Like, as embryos, we all start uh, as, as women, and then we diverge later. <laughs> diverge? 
I'm a history major, okay? I don't know biology. You don't need to, I don't need to be expected to know basic biology about like why men have nipples. Don't ask me these kind of questions. Why is this coming up on my program? We should be talking about video games, not bat nipples. Can we just be normal for a minute? Stop talking about ponies and wolves and nipples. Gosh. TJ says, do Scorch Beasts have bat nipples? I'll tell you what, next time I'm up close and personal, I'll check. I mean, they do have, never mind. I'm not even going to go there. Uh, Daddy of One says, hello, Oxhorn. Where's the best way to send you the, a great website to order a kilt? I don't know if I'm the kind of guy who can pull off a kilt. But if you want to share a good website where I could buy a kilt, just like send it to me on Twitter or something, at me, and I can check it out. Rob Colley says, haven't been around in a while. Damn, you're looking great, Ox. Glad you're doing so great. Thank you, Rob. That's extremely kind to say, and I'm glad you made it back. No Name says, it's okay. I'm a criminal justice major. <laughs> we got to stick together as non-math and science majors, you know? We don't need to be expected to know these math and science things. John DeGian Buradino says, hey, Ox and all. I just got here, and the first thing I hear you say is, I'm down with robot <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we come to the show. <laughs> I'm not, oh, yeah, you know me. God, I'm going to get in so much trouble someday. Sarah says, that's why I call male nipples chicken nipples. Why are we still talking about nipples, guys? It's just like, why? Oh, nipples is like catnip for chat or something. It just freaks you all out. Crystal Sharp says, singing in the shower is wonderful until you get soap in your mouth. Then... It's a soap opera, but um, tss. she actually included that, but um, tss. thank you for that one, Crystal. Loving it. Ranker says, what about nipples on a bat body pillow? And the chat is officially off the rails. I'm raining it in. Look, I'm saying it now. I'm not going to say the word nipple again. This broadcast. I mean, unless something happens in the game, which I don't expect it to. I'm not saying the word nipple anymore, so don't. Write the word, word nipple in there. Don't super chat nipples at me or anything ne regarding nipples. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to think about it. I'm not going to talk about it. We're done with nipples. Uh, three minutes. A spud says, ask a physics major. I can say that redacted aren't real. All right, I'll take your word on redacted. Rob Colley says, what's the difference between snow men and snow women? Cold. I mean, we could think about carrots and coal. I don't know. It's one of the great mysteries. Freddie Simmons says, correct. We both start out as female, but an, but an additional stage makes us male. Okay. I thought it was something like that. Thank you. Nugget Fleas says, uh, what did I walk into? Robot Redacted? You did. Robot Redacted. Kunk says, can we say teats? Sure. Fine. Knock yourselves out. Say teats as much as you want. Berserker Dad says, hey, Ox, can my daughter Freya get a shout out? Absolutely. And I got to remember that sometimes kids watch this show. Yes. I, shout out to Freya. I'm so sorry. This is the program you're watching tonight. My apologies. But I'm glad that sometimes families come together to watch my broadcast. Apparently that's what's happening right now. Berserker Dad, thank you so much for your super chat and a major shout out to Freya. Glad you're watching the show tonight. Dude from Montana says, if we can go from Wright Brothers to iPhone in 100 years, why question House on putting people back in space while robots are everywhere? 
I mean, I don't think it's impossible for House to get us to space within a span of 100 years. I mean, I, I decided that I didn't think that House was the best person to side with for the Mojave Wasteland, less because of his promise about going to the moon, and more because instead of focusing on all of the Mojave Wasteland, he's focusing on Vegas and Mars, or, or, or going to space, right? He's solely focused on Vegas. All of his ambitions are about Vegas. When he protected the area from the apocalypse, he just protected Vegas. And perhaps that was all that he could have done at the time. But if we're talking about a faction to side with for all of the Mojave, then that faction has to have the best interests of all of the Mojave in mind than just Vegas. And maybe focus on the wasteland first and deal with Mars later? Ranker says Papilia Mammalia, ma uh, Mammaria. Oh, did you just, did I just say nipples scientifically? Ranker, did you just? Cheating. That's what you're doing. That's what you're cheating. Kraft Mac and Cheese says, hey, Ox, have you ever been to Nepal? I mean, I'm asking for it at this point, aren't I? It's really my own fault. I have no one to blame but myself. Daniel Radley says, sorry I'm a bit late, but here I am once again. Happy to be here as always. Hope the night is well for you so far, my friend and chat. Thank you, Daniel. Things are going great for me. I think it's almost about time to start the game. Are you ready for some poppy playtime? All right. Let's do this. Let's move the chat over here. Let's get those lights. Things to get spooky? Rob Colley says, what's the difference between snowmen and snow women? Snowballs? Thank you, Rob Colley. Alien Face says, happy to hear I'm not the only dad that watches with his children. Asking is he killing bad zombies, lol. Stay amazing to all the dads out there. Stay amazing, all the dads. Love you all. Jake King says, uh, I was re-watching Dragon's Race to the Edge on Netflix, and this quote came up. Only a coward endangers the lives of innocent women and children as a means of intimidation. Couldn't be more true right now. Oh, uh, no, I agree. I mean, there are a lot of world events going on right now where cowards are endangering the lives of the innocent as a means to intimidate. All right, I turned down the, the, the volume. Sorry about that. Sarah says, I'm in love with this music. Let's all cry together. 
It is a little somber, isn't it? And then Daniel Bradley with a donation of stars on Facebook says, Sorry I'm a bit late, but here I am once again. Happy to be here as always. Hope the night is well for you. So far, my friend and chat. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Here we are. Now, I don't know if you remember, but when we left off at the very end of chapter one, we had been chased by Huggy Wuggy through the pipes, and we stumbled upon a room with a doll inside a glass case, and the last thing we did is open the case, and then she spoke to us, and then it faded to black, and it said the story will resume in chapter two. So that's what's happening now, and we'll see exactly where they put us. Nugget Fleas says, I'm having surgery on Tuesday and I'm super nervous. Watching you makes me feel better. Thank you, Wax, for your uh, your hands and entertaining work. Love you, Wax. Thank you, Nugget Fleas. Good luck with your surgery. I hate to hear that you got to go through one, but I hope you come out feeling better. I hope it helps. Uh, okay, chapter two, Fly on a Web. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly while you search for any way to escape the factory. Uh, I guess let's load game? Load last checkpoint. Yes, please. Okay, here we are. Now, let's see if I can turn up the light a little bit. Overall quality, best, 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 yada, yada, yada. I want you to be able to see, I know that the game got really dark. Okay. Oh, that kind of just blows out the bright brightness. Um. Okay, how do I... How do I click accept? All right, well, we'll go with this. Okay, so we had just opened this case and we met Poppy uh, but appear it appears she's gone now and we got to figure out where to go next Maquiel Rodriguez says increase resolution uh, it's already let's see 1920 1080 I mean, I don't know how to, I don't, don't know what to do other than what I've already done. Oh, it's tipped over. Hey, that's right. Remember when we came through here? We saw this door hiding behind that, and we couldn't get to it. But now, the armoire is tipped over, and we can get there. All right, so, how do we open it? Oh, okay. Bay nine stairs locked. 
All right, we got to also keep our eyes open for collectibles. Remember, they had those VHS tapes. This way. Oh! Did you hear that? Someone said this way. Oh, is that blood? Yeah, that's blood. Okay, there's a big hole in the ground over there. Can't move it. There's a grate missing, which means there should be an opening somewhere. Elliot Ludwig. Keep going, says the creepy voice. Let me see what's in the Elliot Ludwig room. Oh man. Nugget Flea says there's a small apply button under resolution. Is there really? Yeah, 1920, 1080. Apply. Alright, I think I was already at resolution. At the correct resolution, guys. I just wish I could increase the brightness. Because it's a bit dark. Is this my first puzzle? Oh. Try to figure out how I did that. All right, so I click it once. Tag it and then hold. Oh. But I gotta time it right. Oh man. I got it right the first time. Okay, press here. <laughs> Great. Love it. Well, well. Overload. Start. Stop. Auto. We got the rose key. Alt Grendel says Blue Streak Mike says the settings are buggy, but they're working on a patch. Well, that's good. I mean, hopefully, I won't have beat the game by the time they get a patch. I guess we need... I guess this key is to open Ludwig's room. Oh! Well, there's your creepy baby doll. Chat talking about a creepy doll. There's your doll. Alright, let's try Ludwig's room. Blue Streak Mike says, settings are bugged right now. Patch coming, though. All right, well, that's good. Oh, there's a VHS player, but where's the VHS tape? We got Huggy Wuggy, Candy Cat. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was? 
My best friend. Can we hop up there? Looks like we can. Thank you, Mr. Ludwig. Puppy. Oh, looks like there's... There's a female Huggy Wuggy. Huggy Kissy? For Elliot Ludwig. Can I read that? Let's see. Two... Okay, please make more good toys to Mr. Ludwig. Huggy Wuggy, me, Poppy. I would to toward Merc here when I'm old. I would love to work here when I'm old. Kissy and me. All right, so it is called Kissy. What was that? Whoa. What the heck is with the inventory, man? Well, I mean, the game did release today, so... Whoop! VHS! Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... <laughs> 19... Uh, okay. So why was his face redacted? That was a lot of redacting of the face. All right, so something poured out of there. Can we get up there? No. Looks like we have to go that way. Oh, there's the toy that we could have made at the end of the last chapter. Can we read this? Yes. Experiment 814. Uh, notes. This experiment... Oh, it's so small. Utilized... A live rat. Something was... It the, It was fed three portions daily for two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, the rat was killed and submerged into a puppy flower... A poppy flower and, pres, and preservation gel mixture. What? Okay. One week later, an electric shock was applied to the rat still in the gel in an attempt to revive it. The rat remained unresponsive. Analysis. I still believe in the potential of the poppy flower. Its unusual properties le lead me to believe that the proper mixture and procedure could have life-altering properties. The poppy flower has for a long time carried uh, Henry Sim heavy symbolism. Heavy symbolism, and I don't believe that's for no reason. Perhaps something larger than a rat would yield different results. Right, is there any way to read this more closely? And no, it doesn't look like there is. Okay, so we're going to have to do our best to... What's this? Love bug? And I can't take that. Right, well, I think we've collected everything we can from Ludwig's office. Jay Leeds says, love you in your stream, Zox. Thank you, Jay. No Name says, ah, oh, yes, the, near, the year 19. Yes, indeed. The year 19, blab. Oh, great. More vents. Why does everything feel so quiet? All right, I'm cranking the volume up a little bit. Oh, uh, sorry. I 
didn't mean to scare you. I was just trying to get the power back on. Here. Poppy, I'll, I'll do it in my good time. Just come on. Chill out, Poppy. You've been in the cage for years. While I'm still a doll. <laughs> I want to loot. I want to look around. Look at this. Look, I want to see what this is. I want to see what that is. Oh, this is all interesting stuff. Uh, Chill out. Don't you want to come with me? Yes, I do. You're making me sad. Okay, all right. I better come. I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, how do I get up there? Can I? I'm coming, Poppy. Just chill out for a second. Don't turn off the psycho doll on me. I'm coming! Stop banging! How do I get... Oh, hey. Hey, Poppy. You want me to come over here? Oh, this is where I came from. Hi. 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 I'm sorry. Just, uh... Here, I'm gonna get this ladder. Stop frowning, please. Could you just stop frowning at me? You're, you're crazy Ronald McDonald freak. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, right. Uh, how do I get up there? I think better when I'm not stressed. I think better when I'm not being urged. Oh, ladder. Right. Can we ladder? How do I get up there? Pipe. She wants me. She wants me up there. Oh. Well, that's where I came from. All right, kid. Uh. Above the vent. Yeah, I tried that, but that's the way I came. Am I supposed to go back that way? All right. Is this what you wanted, Poppy? I'm going back. Go back that way, Poppy. Just cute, cute little kid. <clears throat> Did uh oh, okay. This wasn't there before. Greg Williams says, Hey Ox, question for you. What was the worst video game you've played in recent memory? The worst? I do have subtitles on, don't I? All right. Um, I know Wolfenstein Youngblood was pretty bad. Nope! 
I died. I'm dead. I never said it would be easy. Get up. I I'm really going to have to master this, aren't I? Oh, God. I hate stuff like this. All right. Got to time it right. Oh, that, that, that wasn't right. Innovation is key. Uh -huh. Is it just me or did the sound effects turn off? Maybe it'll fix once I get closer. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just, it hits the, the freaking ceiling. He is loose. This is an emergency lockdown. Jump, then grapple, says the chat. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to sprint and jump. Here we go. Oh, no! Oh, I hate stuff like this so much. You can take it. Get up. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Now, can I, I got to wait till the next auto save. Hopefully the audio will get fixed, but right now it looks like it's broken. Yep. No audio. Why? All right. So there's, there's where Poppy is going to pop out. Wait, no. Looks like she's going to pop out there. Poppy. Creepy door. Oh, there she is. All right. Um, and she's talking to me. And I can't hear her. Oh, no! Poppy! Something snatched Poppy. All right. Well, um, let's restart the game. Let's see if we can fix... Am I going to have to do this every time I die? I'm at the title screen and it's still not fixed. All right, 1920, 1080. Apply. Let's go to brightness. Crank it all the way up. Okay. Where's my subtitles? Back. All right, I think that's it. Let's quit the game. Hopefully it saves all of those settings. And we'll start again. Poppy playtime. It's updating. Really? Well, maybe they fixed uh, the user interface face bug already. But it's downloading an update. Uh, it's it's applying the update. It's patching. See, this, you know, this is to be expected on launch day for new games. Things like this happen where there are bugs. I mean, it happens to the to the best of us. There we go. Play. Load game. Load last checkpoint, yes. Ah, oh, come on, really? Yes. 
Tell me the patch fixed the audio issue. Yes! Okay. Well, that was a quick patch. <laughs> Gonkro Dim says that pit boss was a real killer. Oh god, I can see it now. There's gonna be this long protracted chase sequence later in the game where I'm gonna have to leap from bar to bar. It's going red. Oh yeah. Alt Grendel says, hey Ox, how many vampires does it take to change a light bulb? Three, if you count Dracula. <laughs> Thank you for that. Where are you, Poppy? You gonna come out? Okay, now I can actually hear what she's gonna say here. Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. Yeah, no. Bye. Bye, Poppy. Sorry. Uh, I do not follow, you know, Lovecraftian tentacles into giant pits. It's just not part of my DNA. I'm going to find another way out of here, if you don't mind. Lost and Found Treasure says, Love the lore videos and live streams, Oxhorn. Question. What games that are, uh, are due to come out are you looking forward to most? God of War Ragnarok sounds good. Um, Starfield, I'm looking forward to that. They're going to make me jump down, aren't they? That's what this is. i got to jump down into the dark, horrible tentacle pit. Of course I do. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Whoa. What? Elliot Ludwig. What's this? Power. Okay, restore power. Looks like power is going here to the game station. And something crawled out under there. Well, let's see if we can restore power here. Another fun puzzle. Here we go. Uh, trying to remember how this, this works. Ooh, what was that? new. Okay. What? Okay, so as soon as I touch this... So maybe I got to do the other one first. Crap, I can't go. Okay. No. I can't do it directly, huh?
Okay, but as soon as... So that's where the bar is, though. But is there another bar I need to get it through? So we managed to get those two. What now? Oh, okay. I just needed to get closer. for VHS tapes. I don't want to miss any of them. A new playmate! Oh. So nice. oh no! Isn't this exciting, Mommy? Very exciting, Mommy! Mommy heard that Miss Poppy was going to just give you the train code to escape. Is that fun? Instead, why don't we make a game out of it? The game station is still working. It will be just like old times. And if you win all three games, I'll give you the train code. <gasps> Mommy loves that idea, Poppy. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Head to Musical Memory and Mommy will get things started. Obey the rules, or I'll tear you apart and eat your insides <laughs> while you're still alive. <laughs> uh huh. Right. Let's obey the rules. Her, it's called Mommy? The first one was Huggy Buggy, and this one's called Mommy? Obey the rules. Oh, something horrible happened to that guy. Okay. Where's my hand? Did she take my red hand? Ah! Wormy says, I think I like your doll better, Ox. But Poppy, Poppy's the doll. I like Poppy better, too. memories that's where we had to go right oh oh what oh just stop oh. spider webs Sp spider she's a spider mommy long legs i get it now Okay, she's a spider. Of course she's a spider. Oh, let's go over here. Why not? I love mommy. Mm. Collectible. To Brawn, you are my best friend for you. So dark. I wish I had a flashlight. I wish I could increase the brightness.
Oh, this doesn't look like musical memories, but I definitely want to explore everything. I love mommy long legs. Yeah, see, mommy long legs. I love mommy long legs. Okay, what is that noise? Okay, so, nothing at the playground but the little train collectible. Oh, there's the other side of the tracks, nothing over there. Okay, let's go over here. I love Candy Cat. Are we gonna meet Candy Cat later? Playtime. She always smile me. She always smile me. Her mommy loves me. <laughs> Happiness. Happiness. Happiness is Huggy Wuggy. Huggy. All right, can we climb up here? Yes, we can. Is there anything to see up here? Nope. Who's banging that pipe? Who's rattling a pipe around here? Mr. Master Chief says... Well, you gonna try Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach after this game, Ox? I don't know, maybe. Chat's been asking for it, maybe I'll tackle it. Okay, so we got some tracks going way over there. And I'm missing my red hand, so that's gonna make things harder. Let's see, nothing by the castle. This is more of the train station, the waiting platform. And more spider webs. Okay, it looks like that's it for both of these little playgrounds. Now, we move up here to the statues. Statues? I don't see any statues. Musical memories. That's where we need to go. Wacka Wuggy. Okay, she said go to musical memory. Well, here I am. I'm at musical memory. And, uh, what do I do next? Got to take the train to musical memory? Train driven? When I'm an adult, I want to be train driven. Okay, up the steps. Let's see. Press here. Preparing for departure in three, two, one. Green? That's a green handprint. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, this one's beeping. I, I guess I gotta pull that. Hi, kids. Welcome to the game station. I'm Stella, and we've got three super duper fun games to play. These little tests show us just how crazy strong and smart you are. Follow Mommy Longlegs down the stairs, and we'll start by playing Musical Memory. Oh, See you in wow. a bit. Adam M says, what about it? Hold on a second here. Okay. okay, it was a door. Gotcha. Adam M says, what about adjusting your monitor's brightness? That would help me, but it won't help you. I'm okay. Like, the darkness, it's a bit too dark for me, but, um... I'm just worried about the replay. I'm hoping you guys are actually able to see what's going on. Okay, what's in musical memory? Yes, party! Okay, can I open this? No. Another big hole. Fine. Holding. Molding room. Okay. Conveyor belt. Hand. Uh, ink.
Tape. Green room tutorial. electricity shoot green hand receivers to temporarily power other systems. They are on the same timer. Lack of a caution may result in injury. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Use your grab pack responsibly. We need to find a green hand. Uh, this one? Fix the pipe. Is that enough? There we go. I had to get it from the wrong angle. No paint and machine. All right. Uh... What was that? I heard noises. All right. Uh... What's all the noise? Okay. No paint in the machine. Find some green paint. Because it won't work unless it's green. Gotta paint it green. Okay. All right, so we gotta put it there once we find it. Get up there. Okay, green paint, green paint. Oh, I see. Well, oh, that was easy. Easier than I thought it was gonna be. Chad says there's a statue in the center of the machine.
Okay, let's see what happens when the charge dies down. Right. So that's how we die. <clears throat> we get slammed by the door. All right, uh... Anything else I'm missing in this room before I move on? Why did this door open? Weird that they would open that door for no reason whatsoever. Okay, well, I think we figured that out. Let's, uh... Safety first. Playtime Co. is not liable for injuries sustained on company property. Routinely review Playtime Co.'s safety policies. is the other oh I see where we're at okay we're on the other side of that gate we saw when we came down can we look in the locker no the fallout player in me is wanting to explore every little detail here but I doubt it's gonna pay off all right think green reduce reuse and recycle well, at least they got those priorities straight press here I know when your birthday is! June 28th! <laughs> no? I mean, no? That's not my birthday, so... Got that wrong, buddy. Alright, we're on the other side of that, that grate. Cool. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. What's gonna happen to me? Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain, allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. I've been drinking A sequence rough. of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Oh, Bunzo oh. will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. Oh, great. The test will become more difficult as it continues, <laughs> with longer patterns in quicker succession. No. That's all. <laughs> Good luck. I like it. I don't like it. Time. Play time. Oh, isn't it amazing? Mommy hasn't seen the place up and running in years. Mommy can only imagine how excited Bunzo must be. It's been such a long time since he's been able to play, yeah. to cheer, yeah. to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to oh, eat. that's the dinner bell. Good luck. <laughs> no. Oh. oh no. Yellow. Oh. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Red. Red, red. <laughs> Round two. Okay. Green. Green, yellow. Green, yellow, blue. Green, yellow, blue, blue. Green, 
yellow, blue, blue, green. Violet. What? Train code one of three. Playtime code train access instructions. This information is for certified playtime code train conduction on conductors only. Do not distribute. Part one, icon sequence. Icons must be sequenced out in this exact order. Symbols guy, huggy wuggy, uh, some sort of panda bear thing, and uh, our, our mommy spider, mommy long legs. Right, there's a door down there. That way, or do I go down the door? I want to go down the door. Oh yeah, getting out of here. Bye. Oh, oh, what? Can't jump. Oh, ah, deep as up. Oh, it's a slide. Okay, we're good. We're good. Where's the slide? Down here. Wish I had some light. Wish I could see. Can't see a thing. Danger. Confined space. Permit required. Do not enter. I 
I'm sure nothing will jump out at me in this confined space at any point as I walk. No surprises. Damaged. Rejected. Rejected item. Open the oven. Reason for rejection. Multiple cases of children receiving third degree burns. <laughs> no. Oh, that's Owen the oven. <laughs> oh, God. That's awful. All right. Well, this is a dead end. That's a big dinosaur. What's this? Rejected. Kick me, Paul. Reason for rejection. Nobody likes him. Oh, he's... Why is he moving? Laughed out of presentation meeting when revealing kick me, Paul. Well, that guy's shivering a bit. More rejects. I'm looking for tapes. Rejected. Item Daisy. The marionette. Reason for rejection. Too scary for young children. Children in test audiences cry during Daisy's performance. Oh, tell me we're gonna... Did, Did that head move? Tell me we're gonna see Daisy move at some point. I want to see Daisy move. I don't like this dinosaur. Whoa, that wasn't me. I, something jostled me a bit. Mark Winter says, love your content. This is my first live stream. This is for the Cigar Fund. Thank you, Mark. I'm taking a look at the rejects to see if I can find any tapes. There's a crane. All right, I'm gonna need that for something. Probably to get that gold thing on top. All right, well, let's continue to explore the rejects. Okay, I guess I gotta power it first. What's this? A rejected item, orange robot toy. Reason for rejection, after considering both options, management has decided to go with Mommy Long Legs as Playtime Co's stretch toy concept. I like him personally. All right, where's the orange robot toy? We're gonna see him later? Orange robot toy. I don't see him. Right, let's go down this other alleyway here. More rejects. Oh, here we go. Rejected item, barrel of huggies. <laughs> it's like the barrel of monkeys, but huggies. <clears throat> Reason for rejection, choking hazard. Children tried to eat from the barrel thinking it was candy. Oh, God. Includes 22 individual huggies. Chained them together in over 22 unique ways. Oh, God, poor kids. Rejected item, retail shipment number 18345. Reason for rejection, entire batch of toys is miscolored due to Patty Hall sabotaging the painting machine. Note, saboteur has since been dealt with. Yikes. How did they deal with Patty Hall? Repaint. Rejected item, sir poops a lot. Reason for rejection, extremely negative reception from various focus groups. Whoever's idea this was should be feel ashamed. Management. Sir poops a lot? Try me? It's a head it's a hamster in a top hat on a toilet. Are we gonna see him later? 
It's your poop salon. Who? Why? Alright. Enough of Sir Poops a lot. Okay, staircase going up. A couple of nooks and crannies here. Symbols. Discolor. And it's just way too dark to even see around here. Alright, and then there's the dinosaur. What's this? We've got a conveyor belt here. Do not enter. All right, so I have a feeling I need to power up that crane. Let's go up the stairs, see if we can figure that out. All right, so there's a power node. Let's see where it goes first. What's this? Rejected. Mommy Long Legs Concept Version 1 and Version 2. Reason, too freaky for target demographic. Designs need a simpler color palette and simpler body shapes. Nobody's perfect. Be yourself. Interesting. I wonder what versions 1 and 2 looked like. Alright, so we've got this guy on a scale. Rejected item. Reason. Okay, so those are templates. Why am I shaking like this? Okay, anytime I step on a toy or something, it jostles me around a little bit. They played tic-tac-toe. That's not how you play tic-tac-toe. Ha ha ha. Daddy Root? Oh, I'm rooting for you. Get it, Root? You grow, bud! Aren't you glad you're best friend? Hey, bud, how's it growing? Hey, bud, how's it growing? Come on. Incinerate Kick Me Paul. <laughs> Call retail stores to return SPA shipments. Launch with Avery Friday. Or lunch with Avery Friday. Okay. Ooh. So there is a tape here somewhere. Oh no. We missed the tape. Where's the tape? Oh. Someone's got a bloody head. All right, well, we found a TV, so we know there's a tape here. Let's see what happens. Power. Okay, so that's working. Fine. Uh, Cannibal Bananas says, I call my kitty Sir Poops a lot sometimes. He uses the litter box often, then immediately eats afterwards to refill. Well, that is how it's done, yeah. All right, so, so we'll just turn our back to this guy. And uh, grab this. And there's our button. Okay, is it directly over that? It's not. stuck behind it. All right. Well, I tried to do a shortcut, but that didn't seem to work. Let's try this again. Buns up. Okay, so the gold things are just collectibles. I got a train, I got Daisy, and I got Bunzo. But now to figure out what we actually have to do with this. So it's on this giant track. Let's follow the track around. By the way, if you see it, a VHS tape, let me know. Follow the track around, it goes this way. Do we really have to drag it all this way? Oh my god. And then up here, 
to here. Warning, weight capacity reached. Ah, oh, okay, so we gotta, we gotta remove this guy. All right, so we gotta use the crane to remove it. Really gotta drag it all the way over there. So it was in the way. I guess I gotta move it back. Should be enough, right? Puzzle solved. Now, VHS tape. I'm gonna do one really thorough examination of the room to try and find this VHS tape. I'm not gonna belabor it. I just wanna make sure I've looked absolutely everywhere. I already got the golden secret. I just want to find the VHS tape. Wiles done. Actually, I didn't do this side. The tilted shelf in the aisle, it was right there, says Coffee Fox. The tilted shelf in the aisle? Was it the other side? Oh my God, right there. Boom! Thank you, Coffee Fox! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Well, it finally happened. After years of being ignored, the company actually heard all my complaints. Yep, they listened to them very carefully. I guess my words must have really inspired them to take action. Because the next day I got demoted down here. To the freaking island of misfit toys! <laughs> Why do I talk to myself? That's it. Sir poops a lot? Is that what it was? Right.
interesting. So I can Okay, so this powers that. We need that to power that. Unless... Healthy bodies, healthy workers. The Raging Krogan says, Evening Ox, I'm smoking E.P. Carrillo Pledge Sojourn. I gave you this as a recommendation since it was Cigar of the Year. Did you happen to try it? I haven't had a chance to snag that one, but it does sound delicious. I'll have to add it to my list. Now, I've been guzzling this rum and scotch, and I've drank a pot of coffee earlier, so I need to hit the facilities. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back, and we'll continue with a little bit more of uh, Poppy's Playtime. Be right back. Right. Thank you for your patience, everybody. I didn't get killed while I was away, did I?
was that blood spatter? Oh. Uh -huh. that way right for the next one okay we're back here so I'm guessing it's wacko buggy <laughs> fun it's wacko buggy whoa you did fantastic who gave you permission to be this smart <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Waggo Wuggy. Head downstairs and have fun. Waggo Wuggy. Happy, healthy kids. Grab pack storage. Hello. Oh. Cool. If I want to get my red one back, maybe this is where I got to go. Why am I allowed in this room? What is the purpose of this room? Okay. Welcome to Wacko Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. <laughs> A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. An adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. No. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good <laughs> luck. That's all. Great. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. Oh. For crying out loud, this is gonna suck so much. Oh, this is gonna suck so much. Oh, I hate this already. <laughs> this is awful. Oh. oh, for Pete's sake. Oh. Do I have to do the right colors? in this game used oh, to have please don't say it over and over them, again so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children hmm have fun I hate 
hate this, I hate this, I hate this. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Oh, I hate it. Nope, nope, nope. Not liking it. Definitely a nope from me. in this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Screw you, lady! <sighs> have fun. I didn't hear any audio cues! I didn't hear any audio cues! I didn't hear him growling! Ah! Come on! Thank you. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Now what if I just stand in the middle? Have fun. What if instead of running around, that's gonna make it worse though, isn't it? If I just stand here and, and just move around, that's gonna make it worse.
So, are you supposed to hit the green huggy with the green hand? They come in all different colors. They're yellow, they're red, they're blue, they're green, so I don't think it's color coordinated. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. I, I, might, Ooh, this, I might get stuck, have guys. Have fun. This might be where I get stuck. It's so freaking dark, I just can't see. Come on! Right, so am I gonna do this for the next 30 minutes? The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them, so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun.
don't know how else I can do this. Like, I don't know how I can get better at this. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. I wish there was like an, an autosave midpoint. Like if I get to a certain point in it, it, it sends me back there so I don't have to go all the way back to the beginning. Adam M says, turn up the contrast and sound. The menu doesn't work. I've already tried turning the, the brightness all the way up. And uh, I've already got the sound turned all the way up. Yeah, the settings, the settings don't work. The toys in this game used to have strings attached to them so they could be pulled back when they got too close to the children. Hmm. Have fun. Back to the ball won't work. Because then I won't see them until they're already out. And it won't give me enough time. And sometimes it doesn't even work. If I see them but then tag them too soon, it doesn't even work. What a horrendous minigame. Not a fan. That one didn't work. Here, 
Mommy has another hint for you. As long as it's not as annoying as that last one was. Ranker says you just need to last two minutes and 30 seconds and it's done. Oh, is that it? Two minutes and 30 seconds? Okay. Part two, color sequence. Red, yellow, red, blue. Icons must be colored in this exact order. <sighs> Golly. Adam M says, nice ox, have a hit on me. <laughs> Thank you. It's a gold huggy wuggy. Hey, collectible. Gold huggy wuggy. No, kissy missy. Click the button to feed me candy. my own fun. Red pit of death? Or this way? Oh no! Oh no, do we gotta go to the red pit of death? Okay. Maybe you're nice. No! Leave it alone! No! Don't touch it! No! 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 Right! I'm out! Why? Gone! <laughs> ah! Ah! No! Oh! Oh, what? 
We made it to the second side. Nineteen ninety one. Finally got a date. Mind if I film this? Oh, not at all, sir. That's what I like to hear. So, it's not the voice Marcus, I expected. What happened? You see, I was heading home for the day when my apars realized that I left me bloody wallet in the cafeteria. So I'm running through the lobby, and that's when I see it. A mob handle lodged under the innovation wing gate. So what you do, Marcus? Well, I just thought I'd nab the bloody yoke and be on me merry way. And? Well, I'm reaching for the thing, and the mob handle jolts on its own. Had me scared stiff. I, I thought I was the only one there. So I, I took a peek beneath the gate, and some massive bloody thing was dothering about the bloody hallway. Thing? You're sure it wasn't a person? Ain't no person that's 50 feet long with a thousand legs. Marcus, you're losing me. Maybe you just saw a bunch of people walking by. Look, it wasn't people, all right? I haven't a bloody notion what it was, but it wasn't human. Hmm. Who have you told about this? Besides me, obviously. Just you, sir. Obviously. Okay. I'll have security skim the cameras and take a look. What? There's a massive bloody... Monster! Skimming ain't gonna get rid of it! You're out of line, Marcus. We make toys, not monsters. Now come on, get out of my sight. Actually, uh, grab me a coffee, will you? Actually, never mind, get out of my sight. <laughs> what was with that accent? That was like... That was, that was the craziest Irish accent I've ever heard. Chad is saying that that's Jack Septic Eye. Is that Jack Septic Eye? All right, Chad is also saying that I missed, uh, something. I missed a vent.
I think the vents are just so that you can go back if you get trapped in a room. You, you know how we had to go back in the last one? I'm sure that's what that's for. But now that we're here, we can... Try it. Oh. So it's still making a rolling sound. Unless that's something else. That's just in case we make a mistake. we go. Okay, figured it out. Right. Barry. idea where our friend went. Ooh. He's gonna pop out. He's gonna pop out and scare me, isn't he? buggy all right grab pack storage again cool final test jeez have you played these before you're so good seems like you're ready for the final game statues Follow mommy down the stairs one last time. I hope you had a fun day at the game station. See you next time. Okay, mommy long legs. Okay, something's wrong.
What did we do wrong? There we go. Hmm. Some sort of 3D printer, maybe? to learn. Okay, another puzzle. Do you want to play with Pedro? Caterpillar or Bug? <laughs> I'm crawling on all four hundreds. Mmm, I'm hungry for some delicious bones. Do you have some bones for pizza? So I can't grab that unless... Why can't I get up there? Okay, I can get up here. Looks like I can't touch it unless it's electrified. Alright, but that one is electrified. But I can't get up there. Oh, why can't I get up there? One. Okay, so I can't transfer the green energy to those up there, and yet those aren't powered. So what do I wrap around here?
Okay, so... Oh... What did that do? Powered the door. Welcome to Statues. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. Oh, no. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. <laughs> That's all. Good luck. Oh no. <laughs> it was always so sad to see the kids go. They called me mommy because I was the closest thing they ever had to one. But they come for games and never come back. They left mommy to die alone. Mommy didn't deserve that. But you, you worked here. So if anyone deserves to die alone, it's you. I worked here? I thought it was like an investigator coming. Why can't I move when it's... What happens if I move? Somehow. All right. Uh, so easy, hard, medium. All right. So I break the rules. Is that what I do? Nope. Don't break the rules. If I move when the lights are on, he automatically gets me. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I hate this. Here we go.
God, God, God! First one. Go towards the glass, towards it, or it always kills you?
Red light. All right, what am I looking for? God! Of course, that's how I die. Where did you go? The game is over. You Mechanic. There we go. <laughs> She's yelling at me. Apparently, she didn't expect that. Condemned. Let's see. Okay, so there's a tape around here somewhere. Can't see worth beans. Rotate top 90 degrees, rotate bottom 90 degrees. Water treatment. Transfer request, experiment 1222, mommy long legs, subject Marie Payne. 
abilities, Mommy Longlegs has the unique ability to stretch any of her limbs for several hundred feet. This includes her fingers, arms, hair, neck, waist, and legs. She's very hostile towards the staff, but is very motherly and acts warmly towards the other experiments. She is protective of them. Problem, the hostility is quickly becoming problematic, but perhaps there is a solution to put her in her place. Proposal, Mommy Longlegs would be perfect for facilitating everything with the children in the game station. She has the warmth that a mother should, and any rowdy child can learn to listen to their mother. It makes sense that her seeing these children daily would improve her behavior. Okay, yeah. And it is very unlikely that she will act out in front of the children. Have her transferred to high security maintenance immediately. Conditioning can begin. All right, so... So rotating the bottom also rotates the top. go a full 90 degrees every time that happens. <sighs> that one does. If I do that, it won't go. That'll go a little bit beyond it. Yeah, see, it doesn't go 90 degrees. So 
So when I rotate the bottom one 90 degrees, the top one moves like 40 degrees. So I have to have it somehow Then it always resets itself. So when I do this, it won't go, it won't go all the way. I mean, I could... there. Maybe that's the way it is. Maybe I'm not allowed to go to the game station yet. Maybe that's the point. Meow, 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 bud. Okay, so we switch that. Oh. Now those are going to fall off, aren't they? Yeah. So how do I get to that button? they getting stuck? I got a secret. So does this matter? Is this something I need to, is this a puzzle I need to fix or was that just for the secret? That goes back. So I managed to get it all the way up. But I can't go over there because there's part of the conveyor belt missing, and I can't go over there because part of the conveyor belt is missing. So I think it was just to get that collectible. that everything went slow-mo for a second all right toy sk 
scanner. Toy scanner. Interesting. So it went 45 on that one. the golden secret. I thought that's what I needed. can't grab a toy. So these aren't the toys I want. Well then what are the toys I want? I got the toy that was sitting up there. It didn't add it to, um, was it Barry? Yeah, I think the toy I got was Barry. All right, so that's a toy scanner. I need to somehow scan a toy to open up that door. And I can't get these paths to allow me over towards the game station. So I'm all the way over here. And I got the gold toy. If I send them up there, they fall off that pit. That changes that, it doesn't change that. So if I switch that, they go left. They go left, but then... They start going the right way. There's a toy on the floor next to the lever. Yeah, look. I can't. All right, so if we go the opposite way. They start falling off into a pit. They do eventually go over there, but only when they fall on top of each other. But I don't think that's the way we're supposed to go. So we swap them and they start going up that way. We put that, but then they fall off. See, they're falling off again. So the right way.
But then when we get up here, there's a hole there, so they can't go that way, and there's a hole there. So if we switch it... Okay, yeah, they can go along the conveyor belt here, but then... Oh, am I supposed to somehow pull that? I could push it forward just a little bit. Oh, did I get something? I've got a lot of buns of the bunnies. Okay, I, I've got the bunnies. I guess that was it. Weird that I couldn't pick some up, and yet I, I could pick others up. I guess I just had to get them at the right angle. All right, so then if I go... If I do that, it'll connect it, which I don't want it to do. Okay. So what was the other way? Rats, b -b 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 That's the other room I came out into. I see. So they're both involved in this puzzle. That's two. Okay.
There's green. Let's see if there's a tape around here. Nope. Alright, so that's a big giant pit. Don't fall in the big giant pit. So I guess the green one is going to be on the other side. No, that's not active. So I can't do anything with that. No, that's the way we came in. Okay, what did we power up? This door. This door? We did something. We did something. Definitely don't want to fall down there. This was the other side of the vent. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh, now I've got a flashlight. Now they give me a flashlight. Great. Why didn't you give me a flashlight at any other point in this entire game? You give me a flashlight now? Oh no, this is where they're gonna get me. This is where they're gonna do something awful. I asked you to play fair, and you cheated! Oh, great cheater! Now, we're going to play one last game! It's called Hide and Seek! Ten, nine. Seven, six, five, four, <laughs> three, two. Ah, this sucks. This sucks. What do we go? What do we do? We just keep running. No. Up. Yes. Up. Right.
And up we go. Fine. No, oh, I didn't get it. <laughs> Missed the collectible. But I don't care right now. I just want to get out of here. Oh no, it was uh, red, yellow, red, blue. Resets them all. Red, yellow. Does this have anything to do with it? But I can't do tw I can't do it twice. Red, yellow, red, blue. Steel one one says, "Someone please get a flamethrower or holy water." Yeah, red, yellow, red, blue. But I. Can See, when it's, when it's down, I can't do it again. Oh, God. Okay. Red. Blue. Green. Yellow. down just wait for it to die just die music die go away music scary music okay Aaron Jensen with a uh, super chat tip thank you so much Aaron oh god not another freaking puzzle Okay, green. <laughs> oh, collectible.
I supposed to trap her in there and turn it on? Okay, I'm missing something. Zombie Elf says no, that thing needs Jesus. Yeah, couldn't hurt. Oh, I am missing something. removed damaged beyond repair please replace asap ensure that machinery is clear of debris wipe machine surfaces all right so we're looking for a main gear I've got a gear. Gear mold. That's the gear mold. Okay, so I insert the gear mold up here. Can't insert the gear mold there. Where do I put the gear mold? Here? Okay, so I can't interact with anything in the furnace. Do I need to open these doors more? Or close them? Up there on the other side, says Chad. All right. Oh my god. For Pete's sake. Was I not 
supposed to incinerate her? <laughs> Hide in the furnace? Oh, man. What? Oh, come on. Oh, wait, no, this is the right one. That's the gear mold, right? Wait, no. At least I don't have to do that again. Do I stand on this so that I fall down? No, I lure her here, and her weight causes her to fall down. I see. So I gotta lure her on top of this, and her weight will cause her to fall down. idea of hiding in a big furnace. Um, every instinct within me is saying, don't put yourself in a big metal box that can be set on fire. But, I'm running out of options. So, I guess I'm gonna hide in a furnace. point of that is that Hide in the furnace. Didn't like it, but I did it. So maybe go through that whole thing again? Yeah. Okay. So 
I pull this lever, she climbs up and starts chasing me, but she laid webs behind me. Fleet says, hey Ox, I'm just curious as to what mods you use on your combat shotgun in Fallout 76. I think I use the, uh, the brake. I don't use the silencer and that's it. called it at the very beginning. I said, sometime in this game, they're gonna have some big bad monster chasing you, and what are you gonna have to do to survive? That's right, you're gonna have to parkour your way out with this little bendy hand, which I suck at. I suck at it, I'm gonna fall a million times. I went the right way the last time, and I thought that the left way would wrap around as a shortcut, but no, it just goes to the giant pipe pit of death.
Blue. Blue hand. I can do the blue hand. What now? Oh, what now? What's that now? Oh, what was that? Oh, now there's a spider hand! Just get me out of this freaking thing! Bay 9. What was that spider hand, man? What was that? Log code 08502. In relation, experiment 1006, the prototype. A close call occurred this week in which he nearly breached containment. The prototype seemingly disassembled the digital alarm clock within his room and utilized the battery, along with several other components, to create a laser pointer, which he then fired into the security camera, disabling it. These actions allowed him 28.3 seconds completely unmonitored. Once function returned to the camera, the room appeared to be empty. One surveillance specialist went in to confirm his absence. However, upon opening the door, she realized that the prototype had hidden in one of the camera's blind spots. The prototype attempted to escape through the open door. However, another surveillance specialist was able to remotely relock the door, despite the other specialist still being inside. One casualty occurred. The prototype seems to possess an unprecedented level of intelligence beyond that of all other test subjects, as well as an alarming willingness to commit violence. Further suppression treatments will need to be enacted to ensure that no other experiments develop these qualities. Experiment 1170, Huggy Wuggy, remains the optimal outcome due to his sufficient intelligence paired with maximum obedience. End of log. Greg Williams says, wow, still playing? And what the heck is going on? Yeah, I think I'm nearly done, and I don't know what's going on. Don't ask me. <clears throat> I think um, we just learned about the mommy long legs, and apparently Huggy Wuggy is more intelligent? Okay. What now? Can, can, can we be done? Like, what's next? Okay. Oh, we're up here. Two, one, three. You okay? Did you kill her? Yes, I did. Good. I'll board the train. We need to leave. Right. You know, I think you'd be a little happier that I saved you. Formal request for him. <clears throat> Dr. Matthew Wason, window, nature of request, windows in something station. I don't know if you ever spent weeks on end in a windowless, artificially lit room, but let me tell you something. It's far from pleasant. The kids are getting 
rowdy, too. You can just see it on their faces. I know there's not really a way to get natural light down here, but there's other ways, right? I'm thinking about fake windows all around. Do that. <clears throat> and bang! There's some actual life down here. I saw it on TV last week. This underground place had fake windows, big lights behind glass. It wakes... It makes the whole place feel sunlit. It's nice. You want everyone in the right headspace for these guys, don't you? Do the right thing. Add windows. Proctoring in the game station. Instructions start by reporting to the control station. Always keep a minimum distance of 20 yards away from mommy long legs. The train will arrive with the children at 8 a.m. All children will be gathered inside the game station all at once. The order of the games should be musical memory, wacko buggy, then statues. A series of bridges and doors from the control station should guide you to each game. Mommy long legs can assist in escorting the children to each game. Only one child should ever play a game at a time. Children who are not playing a game will wait in the game station. There is playground equipment to keep them entertained. Record each child's performance as it is relevant to each game. Musical memory, composure, memory, pattern recognition. Wacka wuggy, oh, that was awful. Hand eye coordination, reaction time. Statues, agility, strength, and speed. Once the children have left for the day, return to the control station. Give all reports to Ms. Stella Graber to sort through. Right. out of here Uh, doggy, wuggy, panda thing, mommy legs. <coughs> Was that not right? Icons must be colored to eat in exact order. Oh, okay. Red, yellow, red, blue. Oh, and then the last piece was 4213. Press buttons on the train console in this exact order. Once completed, make sure to pull train whistle handle before departure. Icons must be sequenced out in this exact order. Icons must be colored in this exact order. Press button on train console in this exact order. All right, so buggy is second, and that's yellow, yellow. The dog is first, and that's red, red. The panda is third, and that's red. Red, yellow, red. So the panda's third, that's red. And then that's blue. 
blue. That doesn't change the numbers. Oh, so it's got to be four. I see. Four, two, one, three. So I got to move the heads to four, two, one, three. Four. But that's wrong. No. 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 Four. That's now that's wrong too. I need to get that one there. How do I do that? Four. No, it does it. It always does it. The numbers need to change too. Yeah. So the panda's second now, but it's got to be icons must be sequenced out in this order. So when I click refresh, it moves the icons, but it's not moving the numbers. So I got to make sure that the icons. How do I do that? So that's right, four, but that needs to be huggy. Well, now two is right. Oh, do I have to tug it? Okay, hold on. Four. Oh, and it doesn't reset. Four, two, no. Nope. When you put the icons in place, you press them in the in the number they are in? There. So that's the right order. That's the right color. Then I press them in this order, four, two, one, three.
Okay, so she's not gonna let me go. That's it! Chapter 2, flying a web! Alright, so the train crashes, and we are betrayed by Poppy. Well, we got through it. It had some freaky moments. Yeah, you were right, it is uh, Jacksepticeye. With that uh, high-pitched Irish accent. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Okay, well, there we go. Uh, we finished part two, and presumably there will be a chapter three eventually. I'm glad we got through it all in today's live stream. Next week, we'll continue with Absalov. We've been, ha uh, been having a really good time with the sci-fi Norse mythology themed game that we've been playing, Absalom, The End of Gods. I believe we're on, uh, we just finished episode three last week. We were going to do episode four today, but instead we did Poppy's Playtime Chapter 2, which was a blast. So we'll do Absalom, The End of Gods, part four, next week during Scotch and Smoke Rings. Same Ox time, same Ox channel. And there we go. That's the end. For the rest of this week, I've got a God of War live stream tomorrow. I'll probably go live around uh, sometime between 9 and 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, depending on my schedule in the morning. And then no lore video for the weekend, as I said earlier in my previous live streams this week. Uh, my next lore video is on a vault, and it is a sprawling location with lots of pre-war and post-war uh, lore that I need to get right and so it's going to take a lot of time to get all of the pieces together I'm working on it this week I'll be continuing to work on it next week uh, hopefully I'll get it done next week but I, I can't even promise that I'll do that so no lore video this weekend while I work on the next vault video that I'm doing for Fallout uh, and then we've got God of War tomorrow and that's it for this week's content thank you all for joining me for Scotch and Smoke Rings tonight hope you enjoyed Poppy Playtime Part Two, gotta say those mini games were a struggle at times, particularly the Wacka Huggy. <laughs> that was absolutely brutal. And there were some very fun, terrifying moments. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you tomorrow morning for God of War. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye now.